Opening the doors. Hell yeah. We have there, we have a quarter uh, and a long john. Yep. All right, let's get a donut in this quick. What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Skunkers Outdoors. Today, we are already out on the water. Been fishing since five. Um, it's been slow. No flags whatsoever today. I went out hoping to get some walleye before the sun came up. Um, seems like this body of water that I was just on that I'm leaving now is not that hot of a bite right now. So heading to a small pond. It's got some bass in there. Get at her. All right, we're gonna stop in the old lakeside bait and tackle and get us some minnows. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I don't know if I want larges or mediums. What do you want for? Mostly, I'm actually trying to catch some bass because I'm in a bass tournament for the winter, but. Um, I guess I'd probably go medium. Yeah, I know, but I keep going back and forth between bass and pike. Can I do a half a dozen uh, each, yeah. actually? Yeah, cool. What's up, dude? It's pretty thick? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, we got Lupe out there drilling some holes already. If anybody's got a brain, they can figure out where we're at. <laughs> Looks like there's already been people out here fishing. So it's not a secret. What's up? Oh, How you doing, man? Pretty good. Good? I can't believe you're in the ice by yourself, man. Dude, I always go out by myself. Well, especially on a day like today, I mean, everybody's working. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to grid this bitch out. Find some fish. So we'll try those holes out for now. We can bounce around a little bit. These are spots that I like to come out here. Like you got like kids and get get some kids catching fish because you're guaranteed like you're gonna catch fish here. There's there's nowhere for them to go. They're right here. You know, and they're eating. If, as long as they're eating, you're gonna catch something. I like I like bringing kids and stuff like that out here. Or just like when I'm having, the last couple times that I've been out fishing, I haven't been doing that good. So, not, at all. not that great. So, I come to a place like this to make myself feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, we got a flag. Looks like he's pulling some line. Oh, you got him. It doesn't feel huge, but it's something. It's something. Little head shakes. It's a nice bass, though. Little bass. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a fish, and they're eating. That's freaking great. Well, first, first we're fish. Them up. That's not exact. I mean, that's what we're after, but we're after a little bit bigger ones. Bye bye. Go back down. He's like, I want to hang out, dude. <laughs> hey, you got a flag up? You got one. Oh, <laughs> is he spinning? your back spinning now you just want to pull it up set it grab the line set it aside and give it a quick 
Down it. Down. Yeah? Yep. Not that big. No. But he, he's wrestling there. Nice little. Oh! There you go. Oh. Nice catch, man. Nice snag. There you go. Nice. Don't even need to take the hook out or nothing. Oh my god, dude. I've reacted <laughs> quick on that one, man. That was a quick quick Grab one. Grab that one. Grab that one. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Quick 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 one. Oh, I might have got, I might, I might just got a bass on this thing. Man, we got like two pound line on there. Not a bad little bass. <laughs> got her on the jig, glow jig with the impulse plastic, man. Let her go. See you later, girl. Oh, she's peeling line out of here. Just peeling line. Feels like it, right? Yeah. There you go. Smaller. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put these ones away. Get the heck out of here. Let's see. All right, bro. Hey, take it easy. Lot, man. No problem. It was a good day. Got the honey hole. Oh, yeah. Don't be telling nobody about it. <laughs> We're gonna try doing that same little setup, I think on the next lake I go to. Gotta flip this thing up, tighten her down. That's a nice little setup there. I like it. I like these, uh, I just installed these clamps on my rattle reels and boy oh boy is that nice. Oh, I gotta put my rods away still. Aaron Weeb would be pissed at me. Just packed up a tip up before I'm ready to go. But I totally agree with him though. If you're packing stuff up and you don't put your tip ups away last, you got something wrong with you. Tell you what, this trek ain't that fun. Hey. Let's see if this works. Almost yard sailed it. <laughs> Today we are using, uh, first things first, our Cast King fillet knife. Brand spanking new, nice and orange so I don't lose it. And then we also have our slab 1.0 folding cutting board. Um, I'm gonna leave it today. I just have my five gallon bucket as a workstation, so I'm just gonna leave it folded in half. I just got some, uh, actually, some pretty nice bluegills. This is the small one, but I'll give you a little preview of that guy. Here, I'll, I'll do the 
I'll do the preview of the big one. I know my hands, these are a little slimy because they they were caught this morning. But uh, ooh, my hands are like nicks. They suck. They're too big. Um, right there, these are uh, eight and a half, nine inch bluegills. We're gonna lay them bad boys up, and I'm gonna throw them in some grease, like right now. Uh, this cutting board, like I said, honestly is the most rugged, outdoorsy piece of cooking equipment that I could have that you can own. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description below, but this thing is, it's so cool. I mean, it folds up nice in my backpack, folds out to 24 inches long if you get any kind of walleyes, a small pike, bass, whatever. It's perfect for bluegills. Um, do a nice little catch and cook right on the ice. Brought my little canister fryer. Um, I'm a big fan of just going right through I got this pretty this knife is soup is not super but it's pretty rigid and it's brand new so it's super sharp I just cut right through those rib bones and then take the fillet right off the right off the skin and then you go and set this aside do the other side again take that go right down the rib bones you can run it right along the spine flip that over take it off the skin and then just to show you how good of a cut that is like that is nothing but bone there's no meat like I maybe could have got a little bit more of the head but there is uh, not much fish left there all right, and then what you do is you come back and you just cut the rib bones right out. So take the tip of the knife, it's a little bit more flexible, a little more pliable, and you just run it right underneath the rib bones and you take them out. And then I like to take and do a little V cut right where those pin bones are. And then you take your slab. Let me just show you how you clean this thing. You just take this and you simply slap it down on the ice. And you do some of that. And boom. Blammo. Crystal clean yet again. We're going to get this baby ripping because I'm getting mighty hungry. I'm going for a full deep fry so you just leave a little bit about a quarter inch quarter inch of oil in there and I think I think I was smart I thought I was smart oh I'm partially smart and I brought a layer turn that on full bore ripping now you let that warm up get it on there nice and centered man that's way more level than it was in my boat pretty dang slick boys and girls give this a good shake again let that heat up some more oh yeah you guys ready for this first drop in That's gonna be nice. I'm hungry. Looking good, baby. Where all the fish at, though? I was expecting this to take a little time because I was gonna be chasing flags, but I guess that's not the case. Fresh bluegills right on the lake, thanks to my slab 1.0. You know it. Check them out, guys. I will definitely leave the link in the description below for slab. Mm. My goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that much satisfaction. Nice and crispy. Ooh, still really hot. 
Catch and cook. Harvest, baby. God, that's good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna stop filming. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna go shake the bait on those things and I might jig for a little while and then I'm getting the heck out of here and going home, spending time with the fam. Oh, highly recommend it, guys. Get yourself a slab 1.0. Get yourself a cooker. I think I might have, excuse me, don't let me talk with my mouth open. I think I might have spent 25, 30 bucks on all this stuff that I have to cook this stuff with. Other than that, it's just kind of odds and ends around the house. I mean, you can make it happen for pretty cheap. You can make it happen and go out and buy a jet boil and you can spend hundreds of dollars on doing this or you can do it for under $50. So I recommend doing it. Can't get fish fresher than that. It's nice. You can get a bigger pan, bigger cooker, cook over a fire, cook with some buddies, do it with your friends. What I think I'd like to have right now is a Whoosh. A nice beer would be great, but drinking and driving is bad, so don't do it, kids. So uh, hopefully I'm not wrapping this up yet, because I'd like to try to see if I can catch a couple more fish, and then I'll wrap it up. But if not, thanks again for watching, sticking around. Appreciate all the love, guys. And as always, catch fish, make memories. You want to learn tips and tricks from Kyle is uh, trip tip number one make sure you bring too much gear that's right I said gear not beer you bring too much beer and you don't do as much fishing <laughs> <laughs>